YouTube. I'm Mike from Michael's J's, and we are back at you with another review on the Jordan 1 Obsidian. I just want to say happy Friday. First things first, if you guys are new to my channel and have not been here before, please hit that subscribe button into the corner over there. Rotate your phone sideways so you can see it. Click that button. Smash the uh, bell icon in the face. And we're on the road to a thousand subscribers here, you guys. I'm, I'm really thankful for everybody that comes, comments on my stuff, likes my channel, subscribes to me, subscribes to my Instagram, at Michael's J's. All the love that's coming through is very positive, and I really appreciate it, guys. Let's get back into the video. This sneaker here clearly needs absolutely no introduction. You guys all know what it's all about. Everybody went crazy for this thing on drop day on August 31st, just about a week ago. And if you didn't get them, here's what they look like. Now I wasn't able to get it in my pair, but I did get them from my girl. I got them in a six and a half youth, which actually equals out to a women's eight. Here's the box tag. It does not say anything on there about a women's size because it is meant for kids. But the women out there, you guys all know that the youth sizes fit your little feet. So you guys actually get to have two different styles that you can possibly pick up, which makes it better for all of you to go cop yourself a pair. Let me just read off the tag for you there if you guys didn't catch it. It's an Air Jordan 1 Retro OG GS in the 6.5 Youth, which is a women's size 8. So for all you smart women out there getting the youth sizes, just like my girl who told me all about it, you guys are smart because look, you do get the exact shoe just in a youth size. So... Actually, these youth sizes are more money right now on resale than any other size, especially size six and a half to eight youth. They're around 400 and going up on GOAT app. So we are selling this pair here on GOAT. It is again the six and a half youth which could be transferred to an eight in women's. So if you guys want this, I mean, smells great. If you want it, hit me up and maybe we can make a deal. Cause uh, right there, see, six and a half youth. It's got the sticker in it. On the inside it says US 6.5Y, which means youth. And then you, you got your UK and your Europe size. But again, it does not say anything about women sizing. Women, don't sleep on the youth sizes. So again, let me give you a quick look on to the right sneaker here. You do have, it's really soft, buttery. It's not as buttery soft as your bread one here. This one is a lot better, you know. But it's as close. It's not bad. I would say it's probably one of the best Jordan 1 to drop with this type of tumbled leather on it. It even has the tumbled on the side here. But, uh, sorry, knocking my stuff over. But um, yeah, let's get to the left sneaker here, which comes with your uh, laces here. And if your laces do not look like this, it's probably fake or they were taken out, something was messed with it, and uh, I wouldn't trust, you know, if they didn't look like this. But here's the right sneaker. This is the tag for it right here on the tongue. Let's get onto the inside here. Again, we do have your boy size, six and a half youth. Hopefully you can see that. So again, it is a women's size 8, but it does not say that. So here you are, here's the bottom of your sneaker, normal Jordan 1, 
typical everything. You have your slits here for your laces, your nylon tongue, your tumbled leather throughout, the white panel here, you got your normal Jordan one, you know, sole and everything here. The swoosh is not tumbled, only the white is what's tumbled on these. And again, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty, the tumble is pretty soft. This part here is not like your 2016 bread. It's a little harder, but still the quality is really good. Like I said, uh, you do have your extra laces here. It comes with your obsidian laces already DS'd on the insides. Um, I think this sneaker is really, really nice. Uh, the actual, the men's sizing, they went up into the 400s on the GOAT app and now I just got a notification from GOAT saying that the pricing has dropped and for my size, which is a size 10, um, I think it's about $270 right now, which is not that much if you really think about it. I mean, it's about $110 over, but when they dropped last week, those things were skyrocketing. Everybody was buying them. I think there was a bunch that the bots bought up. And you know how that goes. So people went and bought their pairs. Everybody got theirs. And now they're kind of sitting, is my guess. And why the price dropped. Because we all know that the satin ones that dropped last month, they're still up there. I think it's around $1,000 or $1,200 for that. So these are not like that at all. I would assume that the price is probably going to go down even more. So you guys will probably be able to get your men's size real soon. And with that being said, that's pretty much the end of the video. I'm not saying anything that anybody hasn't already said in the past week about these. These are your Jordan 1 Obsidians. They did come out August 31st. I think they're pretty nice. They're not super hyped to me. Uh, I don't even know if I'm gonna go and spend them $270 to go get my own pair. I feel like there's so much heat that's coming out in the next couple months that, you know, that's probably why they're dropped down in price. And to me, it's just, you know, another Jordan 1. So, but like I said, I did get these for my girlfriend. She wasn't like too keen on the color and everything. She wants to get herself a pair of breads, but those are way too much. Those are like $650 for a six and a half youth on GOAT. So I told her to relax because they are coming out in a couple months. So that's probably what we'll be doing. Whatever we make off of this sneaker on GOAT, we're just gonna take that money, flip it, and go buy some more sneakers. That's what we do here. I just appreciate everybody that's been following me and subscribing to my channel. Uh, all the love is very positive. There's been no negativity, which I am very thankful for. So again, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you on the next drop.